My name is Karina and welcome to the Karina Chronicles. Today I will take you along on my reading vlog when I'm reading my first ebook ever. So we will see that experience. <laughs> I am finally starting in Firewave by Anna Stanarevich. She sent me this book to review it. So I got it from the author to give an honest opinion. And it is an ebook and I've never read an ebook before. I am just very much attached to books and the smell of them. But I thought, yeah, if people are giving me them for free to review, that's a very good reason to actually read them. <laughs> So I'm trying out different things. We have an e-reader and with we, I mean, my partner has an e-reader. So I can borrow his to try it out. I'm also putting the ebook on my phone and I have it on my laptop and I'm going to try out all three things to see if it actually works. And I hope I can finish it soon because it is a novella. It's only 134 pages, so it wouldn't be good if this took me a long time and after this i hope in the same reading vlog i'm also starting in the wastelands by stephen king which is the third part in the dark tower series that one is 600 pages so i don't think i can finish it this week but i hope i will let's start hi it is time for a little update i am sorry if you hear a lot of noise there is a video being uploaded at the moment so my laptop is having a hard time <laughs> but i wanted to update you on firewave by anna stanayevich and most importantly about how i read the ebook well read i am still reading it but for me it's the first time ever i read an ebook and i know a lot of people will find this ridiculous <laughs> and i can imagine but i just value my books i love collecting them and buying them i saw a post today that said there are three different hobbies reading books collecting books and buying books and especially those first two are really a hobby of mine buying books not so much i can easily go into a bookstore and buy nothing or only buy one but selling my books is just not something i do i will keep all the books i've ever owned and I'm very happy when people give me books for my birthday, even if I already have them in another version or if I never planned on reading them, but now I am. So yeah, that's really something that is not a hobby and maybe an addiction to me. Uh, but I do not read ebooks normally because I want to give my eyes some rest from, from the screen because I didn't have an e-reader and I didn't want to spend money on it when I could spend that money also on real books, which is a bad reason, I know, but okay. The, most of the books that I read are also just physical copies. So that is just fine. The only e-book I've ever read was The Egg by Andy Wire. Okay, so that's the only one I've ever read, but that was a PDF of eight pages and I read it on my laptop. So I've tried three different things now i've tried to read the ebook on my laptop uh, which you probably could expect but it's horrible it feels like i'm reading a um, paper for my studies or my work and that's fine i can do so but i don't feel relaxed at all and i cannot do it at chill places like my bed or on the couch i feel not relaxed at all when i use my laptop in that way I can do it on my phone as well. That works better than I thought, but it's very small. Uh, and it's also not good for me because I keep getting distracted by messages that come in and apps that give notifications, which I usually uh, do not have because I put my phone away when I read. I just read and I usually don't have to give myself rules for reading or something. I just get sucked into the story and it happens on its own way. But sometimes when I am in, in a bit of a slump, I give myself like the rule like, okay, I can only watch on my phone when I just finished the chapter. Just first finished it and then you can watch at your phone again or something like that. 
And when reading on my phone, that doesn't work. But the good thing is that you have a book with you automatically whenever. And I've also read most of it with Kobo. This is uh, the e-reader. And this one is for my boyfriend. And I didn't even know he had one. Well, I did, but I forgot. <laughs> and it works very well. It works a lot better than I expected. The letters were very small, but I can zoom in, of course. It keeps track of where you are. It works very well. And it's also not as light as I expected it to be. So it doesn't disturb me at night like oh this is too too much now it works very well actually and it also works even better in bed because if he wants to sleep already and i want to read this won't wake him up so that's just perfect but it also gave me exactly the point why physical books are better because when i wanted to use it it was empty and i have to admit when i uh, charged it fully it will probably be going on for months but yeah because we hadn't used it in a while it was empty and the moment i wanted to read both my phone and the e-reader were empty so i still prefer the physical books over this but the kobo is better than i expected i am at page 40 50 I once said it had 134 pages, it was 143, but okay, not that much. It's getting a little bit more science fiction than fantasy, but yeah, I don't know yet what I think. So I will collect more thoughts about that and then I will update you again. Hi, we need to talk. I am at my family in Lowe. I don't know if you recognize from all my Christmas videos, but I'm there again because we're leaving tonight to go to France to go on holiday. So that is just great. We're here already because we're uh, driving at night. So it's nice to be here already. So we also not have to drive two hours here first and then drive the whole night. So that's why we're here and I'm uploading my reading vlog today you will see it tomorrow uh, on saturday so if you see this this is saturday probably but for me it's friday now because i have no clue on holiday how good the internet will be and if i'm able to upload any videos i will make videos and i have a lot of plans and i hope that you will just see them next week <laughs> <laughs> but maybe not maybe that will not work and then the videos will come after that and you will have a week without videos for me that really depends on how good the internet is but i hope i can make it work we'll see i at least have a lot of time so if it takes a whole day to upload that doesn't really matter it just should be able at all to upload you know so well that's why i'm going to end this vlog today and that's easy because i've finished fire wave by anna stanojevic so i can talk about that so i have something to share with you so i was planning on ending this vlog here but um i have a hard time filming this last part because i finished fire wave by anna stanojevic and i really wanted to to like it I said in my Instagram post where I give all the ratings of the books that I've read that I gave it three stars because I really didn't want to give it less but I have to admit I can't give it more than two stars I'm going to change it to two stars and I will explain why I think it shouldn't deserve more than two but I wanted to give it three anyway uh, first things first she is self-published author and I think that is so impressive and something to be really really proud of and that we should really support because in this, this world it's just kind of hard to get your book published to be chosen by a publisher or chosen by an agent in America or it's just really hard you should have such a good novel already before you get chosen and I feel it's really impressive and brave that someone just fulfills their own dream by publishing it themselves. 
And I think to write a book, you need talent, of course. But I think everyone that wants to write a book already has the spark of that talent. Because if you're able to put all those words on paper and be happy with it, then you do have that talent. Because that's already a part that a lot of people can do, put all the words on paper. So she has the talent of being a writer. I'm certain of it. Then you need hard work and practice. I think she has that because um, she put in the work to find me from a very different country on YouTube to find my email address and then send it to me for a review just to have some more publicity. So the work she definitely put in. And then the last part, the editing and feedback. And I think she really missed that because this novel was just not good. Just not good. She fell into all the well-known holes, plot holes and writing holes. There are literally every, everything. It was just such a predictable story. I will give some examples to explain to you what was so bad. One of those things was, for example, we have a main character. Uh, we have no clue who she is, what she does or anything. She is just a human, like there are also aliens in this book, but she's a human and she doesn't know yet of the aliens and she's just a normal person. She could be me. She works an office job and she did a self-defense course. That's already something like uh, everyone can do that, of course, but why would she mention it? Like <laughs> she mentioned, oh, I did a self-defense course. No reason why you would do that, just so to tell us, oh, she can fight a bit or something. And then the first time she walks into enemies, she has like five strong men's, men and she can knock them all out with just her bare hands while they have guns. And she is like moving through the bullets and doesn't get hit. Well, if you write something like that, you lost me already. Because that is so unbelievable. That is just not something that happens. That is not something that works out. And it also just doesn't make sense. Another part is that she then, for example, sees a sign uh, of the villains. And she wants to figure out why they leave this sign everywhere. Of course she wants to, so she looks up on the internet, which is of course very hard. How do you look up a sign? Like, do you type in Google, uh, look up triangles with black line or something? Well, that won't work. So she doesn't succeed. And then after a day, she says, oh, wait, why haven't I thought about this before? And then she thinks of Norwegian or Norse actually, Norse mythology, because she also said to us, oh, I need to remind myself that Norse isn't only Norway because it's also Sweden and Denmark. And then, well, that sentence is already like, why do you need you to remind yourself? If you want to educate us on that, then we put it into the story in some way, but you're not, she's like everything we should know the main character just speaks out loud so that we know. No, the, the show don't tell thingy was not accepted. It's tell not showing. She tells everything, what she sees, how she normally behaves. Well, I am losing my point here because I was talking about the Norse mythology, but it's not in the history books. So the answer to the question, why didn't I think of this before? Because no one would. Why would you see a random symbol and then think, uh huh, that's Norse mythology. Now I remember, but it's not in the history books. <laughs> that is just so weird. That is just not, that makes no sense at all. It makes no sense at all. And it would be accepted, like it would still be a bit, bit cheesy, but it would be accepted if she then explains why she knows Norse mythology. So maybe her dad used to be crazy into history and this was his specialty. And by accident, she 
knows this sign or something. But no, she has literally no reason. It's just like a normal person like you and I would just walk around, see something and be like, uh -huh. Now I remember that is Norse mythology that I've never read of before. Makes no sense. So the book is full of the, those kind of things. And also a lot of uh, spelling mistakes and typos. So that is, I don't know. That's especially something that an editor could have taken out and better readers as well. Like come up with a backstory for this, come up with something for this. This makes no sense. You may might know who she is and who she how she would react in these kind of situations, but we don't know her yet. So write that. And I am going to send this feedback to her and maybe it helps. And I still want to support her because I think she's so brave for writing and publishing this and looking me up and sending me a copy. But the, the book shouldn't have been published yet. So, <laughs> okay, this was so hard to say. I feel so bad. But now you <laughs> you do know I do give honest reviews. <laughs> so <laughs> watch out if you send me your review copy. But okay. So this book of 143 pages actually took me the whole week. So that explains uh, <laughs> a lot actually. That that is very uh, that shows how much of a hard time I had. But that was it. I am now starting in the wastelands. That is something completely different. And I'm so excited for it. And we're going on holiday. So that's also really nice. Um, I said that I was going to write whole next week on my novel. I am. But I also found a writing competition that I really want to participate in. And the deadline is in February. So I'm also going to write on that. So a full writing week. So that's really exciting. And this was the first ebook I've ever read. And I like the e-reader. It's something I can get used to. But it just doesn't connect with my uh, book collection hobby. <laughs> so I still want physical copies. But for now and then, ebook seems to be fine. The e-reader really is better than I thought. I really like it. So... A lot of things I've learned this week. And this was actually everything I wanted to say to you. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you subscribe to my channel and you click the notification bell, you will be notified whenever I post a new video. I hope you have a lovely day filled with books. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. I really hope I can upload videos there because it would be a shame to miss a whole week of uploading just because the internet speed is too slow. But we'll see, we'll see. You see my videos or not. <laughs>